Yo, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this liquid shockwave effect here in After Effects. You could also do this in Premiere Pro, you know what I'm saying? Let's just get right into this thing. And if you guys wanna save time while editing, make sure to check out my website. But there's a bunch of really great assets that I promise will save you time and make your edits way sicker. So let's just get right into this. So this is a free sample pack to the full pack. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to my website and you're gonna go, you know, this sexy ass website. You're gonna go to sample packs. You're gonna download the free sample pack to this. So the original has a hundred shockwaves in it. This has two. I'm gonna just add this to my cart, you know what I'm saying? Hit checkout. And it comes with these two shockwaves right here. So you got this liquid E looking one and then this smoke one, which is super clean. And of course, you know, these are transparent backgrounds. So you don't have to change any blending modes or anything. You literally just drag it in and it's already looking real nice. I actually hired someone to create this pack for me. He's a visual effects artist that's worked on really famous Netflix shows and, and lots of movies and stuff. Really talented visual effects artist. So shout out to that guy. And actually a lot of time, energy, and resources went into creating this pack for you guys. And some of the best shockwaves in the pack I went ahead and put in here for you guys for completely free. So, you know, shout out to me. That was pretty cool of me, I'm not gonna lie. Just cause this, this project actually was pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie. So enough yapping, let's just get right into this. And these are really high quality textures. I mean, look at that, like, ugh. So yeah, basically what you're gonna do is you can speed this up by right clicking, going to time, time stretch, and then bringing this down lower just so it's faster. And then we can go ahead and roto brush out our subject here. So what I'll do is duplicate this layer and then double click, go into my roto and start clicking through here. Cool. So now that we have that roto brushed it's very simple i'm sure you guessed it you just put this underneath and now bada bang bada boom you can set this up however you want to you can 3d track this and don't forget to you know just increase these change these values you know make sure to use motion blur and then at the end it kind of like dissipates out which looks kind of sick um, and you could fade that out with the lula key effect or something like that and then if you guys want to change the color add on tritone i'm sure you guys already know this because i use this in like every tutorial so, you know, you could do that or you could match it to the color of his shirt or the background. I'm sure you could make this look cool with some sort of green. I don't know, man. And then, of course, the most important part is you got to add on an adjustment layer and add on RSMB. This is going to add motion blur to the background to him and boom there you go you already see it. this is without motion blur this is with motion blur it actually makes a huge difference i mean you could see just how big a difference that makes and um you could do this with lots of different looks for example i could bring in the smoke shop wave and you know increase that i feel like honestly this could look kind of crazy i actually think the smoke one looks way better in this scene because smoke is kind of like a natural thing and he's in nature, he's like with the trees and shit. And now something that you could do is you could turn this into a displacement map. So I like doing that with the liquid one. I think it looks better. So let's use that one for now. And basically what we're gonna do for that is we'll just pre-compose that liquid layer by doing control shift C and then move all attributes into the new composition. And then on the background layer, we're also gonna pre-comp that layer and we'll just name this one background and then we'll name the shockwave layer shockwave. So we could just rename that shockwave one or something. And then on the background layer, we're gonna add on any displacement mapping effect you guys know I love using my displacement maps. It's just such an underrated effect. I, it actually blows my mind that no one knows how to do this anymore. So I added that to the background layer and I'm just gonna set that input to Shockwave 1, that other one we just renamed right here. And then I'll make that invisible for now. And then I can just click wrap pixels around and change this map behavior to stretch map to fit and then increase anything and boom, you're gonna see that displacement map so it's actually displaced to the background you can see that liquid asset coming through it's really coming out there 
And yeah, so that's just with one displacement mapping effect. You can use this with Sapphire Distort. It has the same input settings. It has the same stretch map to fit thing. You can do this with Distort Chroma, Distort. And then there's some Prism plugins that are crazy. I mean, there's so many things that you can do with this. This is just like the free version. Yeah, you, you know, yeah, I did this shit for free, man. So, you know, I'd appreciate it if you guys, you know, <clears throat> go caress the like button and go tickle and fondle and suck on that subscribe button molest that subscribe button you guys i really appreciate y'all and of course go over to my sexy website jmovfx.com cop a pack for your boy if you guys want that crazy sauce on your music videos you already know i'm about to drop like so many packs too because i just love making packs for you guys i appreciate y'all and god bless you have a great rest of your day peace <laughs>